I just have a feeling I'm missing something really stupid. Like, I wish I could... Like, I know I have the black key card, but I don't know where the black key card goes. So it's not very helpful to me. I mean, really, I could do the let's walk around the entire map looking for secrets. But I wouldn't do that on LP. I'd probably wait until I found one, then record it. And if it didn't go anywhere, then give it up. Yeah, I'd just be like, well, I found a secret. Oh. <gasps> Health. So there's a hole in the ceiling. I guess that's where the little laser blaster thing is. Or the little force field ball is. Glad I didn't come into this level on that floor. <clears throat> Not seeing any items. Other than stuff I've already blown up. Don't really care to be here. I don't know. I kind of missed the days of figuring out where you had to go. So I'm actually, as boring as this might be to you, it's enjoyable for me. So, so screw you. No, I'm just kidding. There's probably going to be like one person five years from now who's going to say they played this game before. Because this game looks like nobody's ever played it, which is unfortunate, but because mm. if the guy, because I think the dead guy was in this room, right? Or was it the previous room? Yeah, it was in this room. Can I talk to him again? No. I can trample his dead body a couple times. Uh, no, stop firing your lasers. He said up and to the left. Sneaky. <laughs> Frank, there you are. Oh, no, wait. I should probably just search the rest of this room, so, yep. There are a lot of people here. just kind of makes me wish that someone who created a game like VVVV and like I want to be the guy or whatever would make a game like this. They could probably do a pretty good job. So that was literally all that was in there. Let's see. Is this a door? Oh, yes it is. Dance. Alright, so that makes me suspicious of all of those little locked things. I didn't think they were doors. I thought they were just there for decoration or whatever. Unless they're secrets. Alright, now that we've discovered this, let's save. Save. At least I did get some health and stuff, so...
see, because these do, these ones don't open. Tum to tum tum. Unless that guy was just like telling me about a secret. I don't think there's much more back there, so. And it makes me wonder, because, like, I have this whole big empty block, like, right below me, that there might be, like, I don't know how much of an angle you need to see your, to see a secret or your gun go down. So. Wait, what? Wait a minute. That's weird. Notice on the map, there's this big green empty space and right below me is empty. And when I move here, it's there. Suspicious. Unless this was technically a secret. Ah! The rest of the map's gone. So I guess it can only, like, render out so much of the map. That's my only guess. Or maybe there was just too much going on in this room and they didn't want, like, the game to crap out or whatever. Ah, okay. Let's go upstairs. Maybe I had to, like, rescue a certain number of humans or something. Because I think the next step is to look for the same kind of thing on the next floor. Because I found that one secret, but there was, like, nothing in there. I think it needs a second exam. And I went completely the wrong way. Yay! Directional ineptitude. Okay. No, go back and pick up the bullets. Don't. I'm using more bullets, killing nothing. Alright. So... Oh good, you can pick up weapons for ammo. So there really was nothing in here. It's just kind of weird. So... I guess it's just frisk down every room and... make sure I didn't miss something. Some fuel? Fuel for what? So it's good to know that I can go at like max speed to search walls for secrets. So I guess I'm gonna get some sort of flamethrower type weapon. Or something of the like. Huh. Alright, so let's go back through here. So 
now I'm suspicious about another area. But it's all the way on the other side. Like, I'm so suspicious about, like, these little in-grooves. Like, they're probably set there as, like, red herring kind of things. <clears throat> but you never know. Okay, so I have the black key card, and I thought I picked up the green key card. But I think I had to use the green key card for something. Alright, so maybe one of these gets shut down? No. Switches don't do that. Unless there's this one. Oh, ho do uh, I think this is the one that's blocked on the other side. Ah! You bastard! That was the shortest elevator trip ever. Thin corridors. So for the moment, let's curve back here and see what's back here. Oh, a med kit. I guess this is the next computer. Go away, space terminator. Oh, he has the white key card. Yep, no fail save for you. We are to hear another door opening. But I just don't see anyone. Someone's firing at me, but I don't know from where. This is like the cargo hold or something. Alright, I probably assume the next room is probably like choked full of enemies. Like down in here, because every time I pass by there I heard a lot of footsteps. I am going to die again, and I didn't save. I guess the other the other guys just have like sixth sense technology. <laughs> Barrel armor. That will save me, hopefully. Just sucks that it's like only lasts so long. 
Okay, so there's a white key card here. I wonder if that's all I get on this floor, because if it's, that's all I get, it's going to be kind of annoying. But, alright. We'll see. We'll see. Must find secrets. Must find health, to be correct. weird. Alright, well we'll figure out this mystery in the next episode of Backtrack with me, Morak Dice. See you later.